what are some of the things that uh, maybe entrepreneurs in the region could learn from overseas and what are they doing well in the region, just as a quick tip. Who wants to start? Should I start? Go on. Yeah, so uh, I, think, I think the simplest thing you should do as an entrepreneur or as an aspiring entrepreneur is to uh, quit your job and start building your company. I think you can't really build something without really, really focusing. I think everybody tonight somewhere somehow touched that. It's, it's a lot of focus. You know, we're building a long, long, long relationship. So my point is that. And of course, since I run Funded by Me and it's a, it's a really good, good tool for you, is like make sure that you realize that you live in 2013. So you use the tools of 2013 and not the, the tools from the 70s and 80s. And that includes everything, finance, technology, people, how you behave, how you think about your, your, your company. I think that's, that's, that's crucial. And, and, and I think that's why we built this company, Fundamami, because you know, we couldn't get funding. You know, I am uh, a Romanian with an art background. Good luck building a company. On paper, I'm worthless. My, uh, my co-founder is, is, is a coder from Africa. On paper, he's like, who are you? Um, so you, 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 need, you need to just do it and, 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 and give yourself tools. If, you, if the tools are not there, take the tools or build them. Um, you know, if, if VCs and angels don't meet you, then go to your future clients. Uh, a lot of people who built companies before crowdfunding, they basically went to a client and said, I have an idea, if I build this, will, will you buy it? Uh, will you pay me half? Will you, will you somehow help me onwards? And, um, I can tell you my first company that I built, my first client, I worked for free just to get the logo, just to get the bragging rights. Uh, it's, it's a bad decision to work for free, but it's a good decision to just, you know, think outside the box and, and make sure you use the proper tools for your company, whatever they m might be. Very good, very good. Anyone else? Harry? Um, I, uh, I would say at the ambition level of uh, the American entrepreneurs that I meet. Uh, and okay, some of it's bullshit perhaps, but um, if you can tell a story about how what you're doing is gonna change the world, um, then, you know, and actually believe in it and set your aspirations that high, then I think everything else can follow from that. And I mean, I'm very biased because I represent a huge fund and for us, for an investment that we invest in to make a difference to our fund, it has to make $100 million for the fund, which means, you know, it probably needs to sell for $500 million, because we probably only own 20% of it. Uh, and, uh, uh, and so we're, we're biased, we're looking for the, the MySQLs that, that shoot it out of the park, the Betfairs, the Bebos, the Wongas, the, 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 the companies that do have these great ambitions that a billion isn't enough, that, you know, I'm not gonna sell for 20 million, 50 million. And that, that's, that's the European disease, is that because we live in nice, comfortable societies with great schools and hospitals and lovely beaches and all that kind of thing. We, 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 we're, we're happy with, great, I've got my nice house in the country, that's enough. Rather than, we're not happy to have changed the world and built a company that's gonna last, you know, generations. Very good. Let's be a little bit more shorter. That's fine. But uh, I, I think that's a, that's a prerequisite. But uh, in, in Nordson, we've been you know, fortunate to be involved in some great companies like uh, Spotify, Last Minute, uh, NextGenTel, Funcom, iSettle. And I think the common two denominators, besides having the big ambitions, is really extreme product focus. And the second one is customer dedication. That they're, 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 they're putting themselves in the customer seat and say, you know, is this something that I really, really, really want myself? Would I use it or would my you know, daughters use it? Would my friends use it? So they always think in that it's not about the product technology, but it's about the value proposition towards the customers. And I think all those companies that I mentioned and many more successful companies have that in their mind. Brilliant. Thomas? Uh, let, me, let me try an alternative answer very fast. Um, Linux, MySQL, Git, Rails, PHP, Skype, Varnish, Spotify, Sendesk, 37 Signals, Podio, uh, Supercell, Rovio. I mean, I don't think we have a lot to learn. <laughs> if when I'm talking with guys in Berlin, I'm doing this drill and I'm probably, uh, I can remember more of all the companies, and I'm like, hey, we fucking built the internet. 
I mean, every time you hit facebook.com, you're running on Nordic shit. I mean, you know. So how about we actually stood, stood up and stood tall? In Berlin, then they, they, they didn't say, but we have SoundCloud. It was like, yeah, started by two sweets. Uh, you know, so I mean, I don't think we have a lot to, I mean, obviously we always have a lot to learn, but I mean, it's time to actually stand tall. The numbers you spoke about demonstrates it. And we are fucking building amazing stuff on a global level. We're 20 million people. But I mean, we're doing more stuff than Germany are doing with 80 million people. We're doing more stuff than the UK are doing. I mean, it's time to stand tall. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs>